The Earth is home to many wonders, but some landforms remain a mystery. From bizarre formations shaped by unknown forces to landscapes that feel otherworldly, here are 15 of the most mysterious landforms ever found. CI Lake Kazakhstan Kazakhstan's Kandy Lake, nestled in the Tian Shan Mountains, was formed in 1911 after a massive limestone landslide created a 1,300-foot deep lake. Over a century later, submerged trees remain surprisingly intact, their trunks nourishing underwater plants and algae, making the forest below continue to grow. To reach the lake, you'll journey deep into the mountains at over 6,000 feet. The water's vivid blue or green hue shifts with mineral content, and its crystal clear waters reveal the submerged forest in remarkable detail. This isolated, natural wonder is unlike anything else on Earth. Devil's Tower Wyoming Devil's Tower National Monument in Wyoming is one of the most iconic and mysterious landmarks in the U.S. rising 867 feet, 264 meters, above the plains, it has captivated visitors for centuries. Established as the first U.S. national monument by President Roosevelt in 1906, it has been protected ever since. Though named Devil's Tower in 1875, the local Native American tribes know it by names like Bear's House or Tree Rock. Its origin remains unclear. The most accepted theory suggests it's the remnant of an ancient volcanic intrusion, but the lack of volcanic evidence nearby makes this theory uncertain. The tower's striking hexagonal columns, which look almost man-made, add to its mystery. Native stories, like the Lakota Sioux's tale of girls escaping a bear by being lifted into the sky, leave room for the possibility that the true story may be far more mystical. Sakra in Yemen Socotra, an island archipelago off Yemen's coast in the Arabian Sea, spans about 1,400 square miles, 3,700 square kilometers. The archipelago includes four main islands, with the largest also named Socotra. Known for its unique landscapes and isolated biodiversity, Socotra's flora and fauna evolved independently over millions of years. Notable plants include the dragon's blood tree, with its umbrella-shaped canopy and red resin, linked to local legends and ancient rituals. Another distinctive plant is the desert rose, which thrives in the arid climate and stores water in its swollen trunk. More than a third of Socotra's 825 plant species are found nowhere else on Earth. The island also hosts rare species of birds, reptiles, and invertebrates, like the colorful Socotra sunbird and the Socotra cormorant, alongside geckos, skinks, and spiders that can't be found anywhere else. The Giant's Causeway Ireland's coastline, particularly in County Antrim, is home to the stunning Giant's Causeway. This natural wonder features around 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, mostly hexagonal, forming a vast stepped causeway stretching into the North Atlantic. The columns change color under different lighting, shifting from gray and black to golden hues at sunset. Though their perfect shapes seem almost too precise to be natural, they were formed by volcanic activity 50 million years ago. The causeway has inspired numerous legends, with one from Irish mythology claiming it was built by the giant Finn McCool as a bridge to Scotland. After seeing his rival Banandiner's enormous size, Finn fled, and his clever wife disguised him as a baby. Believing the baby was the child of an even larger giant, Banandana retreated, tearing up the causeway behind him. This myth remains a key part of Irish culture and the site's rich history. Mount Rima Mount Roraima, a flat-topped mountain on the borders of Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana, rises 9,219 feet 2,810 meters, above the jungle. Part of the ancient Guiana Shield, this isolated plateau spans about 12 square miles, 31 square kilometers, and has remained untouched for millions of years. Its summit hosts unique flora and fauna, including carnivorous plants like the Roraima pitcher plant and endemic frogs. Surrounded by towering cliffs, it appears as a fortress in the sky. The summit features strange rock formations, some resembling ruins, which led early explorers to speculate about lost civilizations. For local tribes like the Pemon and Kapan, the mountain is sacred, believed to be the stump of a giant tree that once held all the world's fruits, and its destruction caused a great flood, leaving Mount Roraima as the last refuge. Dead Vly Dead Vly, in Namibia's Namibnakluf National Park, is one of the world's most mysterious landscapes. This ancient clay pan, part of the Namib Desert, gets its name, Dead Marsh, from its barren, lifeless appearance. The dead camelthorn trees scattered across the pan are around 900 years old. They haven't decomposed due to the dry climate, which prevents decay. Once an oasis fed by the Tsachib River, the area dried up as shifting sand dunes cut off the water, leaving the trees to die and remain eerily preserved. The cracked white clay pan, surrounded by towering sand dunes up to 1,000 feet high, creates a haunting, otherworldly scene, 
with the dune's deep color from iron oxidation adding to the mystery. Mori Boulders The Moraki Boulders, located on Cocoa Beach in New Zealand's Otago region, are one of the country's most intriguing natural wonders. These large, spherical boulders, some up to 6.5 feet 2 meters, in diameter, are scattered across the beach. Scientifically, they are septarian concretions, formed about 60 million years ago when minerals like calcite built up around a core on the ocean floor. Over time, layers compressed into the perfectly round shapes we see today. While the formation is understood, their size and symmetry still evoke mystery. Similar boulders exist elsewhere, but the Moaraki boulders stand out for their size and uniformity. Some have cracked open, revealing honeycomb-like patterns inside. According to Maori legend, the boulders are the remains of calabashes, eel baskets, and gourds from the wreck of the Ere Turu canoe. The nearby cliffs are said to be the petrified remains of the wreck. Beyond their scientific interest, the boulders are spiritually significant to the Maori, symbolizing ancestral connections and a reminder of a great journey, which adds to their mystique. Vulcan Point Vulcan Point in the Philippines is a remarkable geological formation located within Tall Volcano. It's a volcanic island in a lake, which is on an island, in yet another lake, on an island. While similar formations exist, Vulcan Point is unique due to Tall's active volcanic nature. Tall Volcano, one of the country's most active, sits in Tall Lake, a caldera from an ancient eruption. Despite frequent volcanic activity, Vulcan Point has remained intact. After the massive eruption in January 2020, which covered it in ash and drained surrounding water, the island seemed destroyed. However, it soon re-emerged, with water and vegetation returning as if nothing had happened. The Tall region, including Vulcan Point, holds significant cultural importance, with local myths associating the volcano with spirits and deities, adding to its mystique. Ice Towers Mount Erebus's ice towers in Antarctica are one of the most captivating natural phenomena on Earth. As the southernmost active volcano, it sits on Ross Island, with a constantly bubbling lava lake at its summit. The volcano's geothermal activity creates hollow ice towers, formed when hot volcanic gases escape through cracks in the ice. The steam freezes in the frigid Antarctic air, building up into spires that can reach 60 feet, 18 meters. These towers are constantly releasing steam and adding new layers of ice. Their stark white ice contrasts with Erebus's dark rocky surface, and the hollow interiors glow with a strange blue light. Despite Antarctica's harsh environment, extremophiles, organisms thriving in extreme conditions, live within the cracks of the volcano. Studying these could offer insights into potential life on other planets. Reaching Mount Erebus is a challenge, but those who do describe the surreal, otherworldly atmosphere surrounding the ice towers. Hoarder Geothermal Field in Iceland The Hoarder GE Thermal Field in Iceland is one of the country's most mysterious landscapes, showcasing the raw power of the Earth. Located on the Golden Circle route, it's home to famous hot springs and geysers, including Stir, which erupts every few minutes. The field's most renowned geyser, Gear, gave its name to all other geysers worldwide. Though dormant now, Gear once shot boiling water 230 feet in the air, and earthquakes in the area can trigger its eruptions, though predicting them remains a mystery. Bubbling mud pools and steam vents add to the alien-like terrain, with sulfur-rich mud gurgling eerily. Despite scientific knowledge, the unpredictable behavior of the geothermal field hints at unknown forces at play. For the Icelandic people, this area holds deep spiritual significance, with stories of elves and hidden folk living in the rocks and hills, perhaps guarding the secrets of this powerful land. Dana Landform in China China's Danxia Landform, found in Gansu, Guangdong, and Hunan, is one of the most stunning and mysterious landscapes in the world. Known for its vibrant red sandstone cliffs, the Rainbow Mountains in Gansu stand out with their striking red, orange, yellow, and green hues, which shift with the light and weather. While the formation process is understood, the exact reasons behind the colors remain unclear. These unique landforms, with their towering peaks and deep gorges, have inspired myths of gods and creatures, while temples nestled in the cliffs add spiritual significance. Once isolated, the area's remote terrain kept its beauty intact, but improved transportation has made it more accessible, offering visitors a surreal, ever-changing landscape. Mount Thor in Canada Canada's Mount Thor, located on Baffin Island in Nunavut, is part of Oyuidic National Park and boasts the world's greatest vertical drop, nearly 4,100 feet 1,250 meters. Its 5,495 foot 1,675 m peak may be smaller than Mount Everest, but its sheer western face overhangs slightly at a 105 degrees angle, making it appear to defy gravity. 
The mountain's remote Arctic location, surrounded by untouched wilderness and extreme cold, adds to its allure. Climbing Mount Thor is a formidable challenge due to its near-vertical cliff and harsh weather, with only a few climbers having succeeded since the first ascent in 1985. It's a true test of endurance. The Twelve Apostles in Australia The Twelve Apostles are a series of limestone stacks along Australia's Great Ocean Road, rising from the Southern Ocean. Despite being a famous landmark, their formation and constant changes remain shrouded in mystery. Originally, there were nine stacks, but one collapsed in 2005, leaving only eight. Over time, waves and winds eroded the softer limestone, creating caves, arches, and eventually these freestanding columns. The stacks continue to erode, emphasizing their temporary nature. Their appearance also changes with the time of day, at sunrise and sunset, they glow in warm hues, while during storms, the ocean crashes against them, transforming the scene into a dramatic display of power. Isla in Mexico Thanks to modern technology, we now have accurate maps of Earth. But before satellites, cartographers relied on sailors and explorers, sometimes leading to errors, like the belief in non-existent islands. One such mystery is Isla Bermeja, a small island off Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, which appeared on maps for centuries but has never been found. First noted in 16th century Spanish maps, Isla Bermeja was described as a reddish island 100 nautical miles from the Yucatan. Its potential impact on maritime borders became important in the late 20th century during Mexico-US negotiations over the oil-rich donut hole in the Gulf. Despite 1990s expeditions with advanced tools like satellite imagery and sonar, Isla Bermeja remains elusive. Some theories suggest it may have eroded or sunk, but no evidence has been found. Another possibility is that it was a cartographic error. While natural or human error is most likely, the island's disappearance continues to fuel wild speculation, including claims that the US destroyed it, though there's no evidence. The mystery remains one of the Gulf's biggest puzzles.